Hi guys, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Just wanted to share with you uh, one of my new circuits. I've done something like this before uh, using a stepper motor. This is going to be uh, a prototype for a kit that I'm coming out with. Uh, it's a solar tracker kit, just a mini solar tracker kit. I've got some uh, servo motors on the way. The last time I did this, and if you look here, you're interested and you want to see it, look back on my channel maybe six, seven months, maybe even longer. Uh, I did this with a servo or with a, a stepper motor. Now what you got right here are uh, three different light sensors. Now for a prototype, they're just on one board. But I'll be making PCBs with separate ones so you can place them around the solar cell. And I'm going to try to make this kit uh, super capacitor based. But anyway, that, that uh, aside, what I got here is three light sensors, one uh, PIC18F1220, 5 volt regulator, and I've got a little LED bank right here to simulate uh, some strong sunlight and uh, what's going to happen is I've got this configured so that each value on the uh, each of these light sensors is fed into an individual ADC an analog to digital converter and what that does is it basically turns the voltage into a digital number an 8-bit digital number and we're going to see those numbers on this uh, array of LEDs the left side has the uh, most significant bit and the right side has the least significant bit. More light means uh, uh, a lesser number, and less light means more of a number, uh, a higher number. So uh, the highest number we can get is uh, 255. Lowest, of course, is zero. So let's power it on. I'm going to keep the flashlight away from the circuit. And we'll just give it room light. So what that's doing is, and it, this it will be happening a little bit faster when I program the circuit. This is just me getting started with the programming. You see how all the LEDs are blink blinking? Um, what that's doing is that's sampling all three different ADCs very quickly and outputting the values to um, to to these LEDs. So, as you can see, they they're pretty similar the values because they're all being exposed to the same room light. So, what if I cover two of them? As you can see. Uh, the left LEDs, the most significant bit LEDs, are lighting up. Uh, but this LED is still offering uh, a, a lower, a lower level of light, or a, a higher level of light. So let me just cover that one too. So now they're all pretty much lit up. They're all, they all have a very high value. Now let me apply a whole bunch of light. As you can see, we're getting values like seven, six, one. Now, so because you because I haven't slowed this down yet, you, it's hard to differentiate it's, it, which sensor is reading what. Right now, there's one sensor that's reading a relatively high value. Uh, now there's two sensors reading a relatively high value and one a low value. I can actually cover that up so that we can see that. Oop, I made a short. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Anyway, what this is going to do is I'm going to math mathematically through programming uh, do a comparison between these three uh, values to determine is the light at the left sensor uh, more prominent, is the light in the middle most prominent, or is the light at the right most prominent. And if the light at the left is most prominent, I'll have a servo motor turn the solar panel to the left. And if, uh, at the right, I'll have the, the a servo turn it to the right. I'm using a servo because it takes less power than a, a stepper motor. Stepper motors are power cons power consumers, and I don't like using them if I don't have to. So, <clears throat> essentially, you'll have this these three sensors mounted on your solar panel. You'll have your solar panel mounted on a servo, and your so servo will turn as far left as it can. Uh, and when it gets there, there also will also be I'm hoping to be a light sensor to determine oh. It's getting late. We're just going to shut the system down for the night. But again, this is just a kit. It's you know I'm just having fun at this point. We'll see how far I take it. But I just wanted to show it off because it's neat, and uh, I'm an, a bit of a, an analog to digital freak. I love using analog to digital converters. Uh, it's so neat. I've never actually used more than one on a pick. So. There you go. Anyway, I've ho hopefully you've enjoyed this. Uh, I'll be updating this project as time progresses. I'm waiting on some more servo motors. And uh, I've got a bunch of solar cells, so uh, let's just hope that I'm as mechanically inclined as I am electronically inclined. 
Anyway, feel free to uh, visit engineeringshock.com where our new website is up, and uh, electronic lessons, electronic lessons.com will take you to our eBay store. Thanks for watching, guys.